Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another AI quick tip. And today we're going to be in mid journey again, and we're going to look at prompting in here, in particular, the uh, order of prompts and the weight that you give the prompts as well and how you structure them to see if there's any kind of a difference. So I started off with a mystical urban cyberpunk alley. I uh, stole this term from, um, uh, what is it, Tim over theoretically media. And so I put that in here in uh, 5.2 is what this is running up here natively, and then in 6.0. And let me just show you what that looks like. Here's the 5.2 version, and here is the 6.0 version. Obviously, you get a lot more detail in 6 than we did over in 5. And so I just wanted to start off with those as my test, and then I started adding in more prompts on top of this. So I put in cinematic film. And I got these two images, but I was more looking for actually cinematic still was the actual word that I was trying to put in. And you noticed here, I put in two colons in between. The reason why I put in the two colons is I wanted to tell it that this was multiple prompts. That's what I've been part of what I'm testing here is do you put in a comma or do you put in the double colons to tell it that it's two different prompts? And in this case here, I've got like six or eight different prompts in some of them. And so here we got the 6.0 version of that, and then we have the 5.2 version. Again, isn't much different than what we had seen up top, not necessarily, uh, maybe again, uh, because I put in cinematic film here, and then down here at the bottom, I put in cinematic still. Didn't like this one for some reason, I will dismiss that. And uh, so here is the 6.0 version for a cinematic still, uh, as a prompt, and then Mystical Urban Cyberpunk Alley as the other. And hopefully these are big enough on the screen. It's more the point of how we put in the prompts and the differences that it made. Because so far, it hasn't made a whole lot of difference, but we only got two prompts and they're pretty basic prompts that I don't have style raw set on here either. So I'm relying upon mid journey to do its magic and go out and, and build it however it wants. I didn't want to put any constraints on it. So then I put in here midday. So we got our two separate prompts here, midday, and we did a pretty good job here. We got a lot of sunlight in the pictures here. This is again in 5.2. We come into 6.0, didn't do quite as good a job here with our midday prompt. We got one here that's midday. This one, maybe these two clearly are at night. So we didn't quite get what we wanted there. The 5.2 was better version on that. But now let's keep going forward. And here we got 5.2 again. Um, okay, we got cinematic. Let me go back up here. So here we got cinematic still, colon, colon, up here. This is 6.0. And here's 5.2. Here we got it just with a comma. Again, we're looking at this picture versus this picture. Eh, not a whole lot of difference. Kind of picked up everything individually. Uh, so we got midday there, and then we got in our 6.0 version. It's actually a little bit better here as far as the midday goes. We got three of them that pretty much are midday. Um, one is clearly at night and foggy. So then I put in uh, the rest of the prompt that uh, Tim had mentioned. And I, <clears throat> excuse me. Then I put in cinematic uh cinematic still filmed by ridley scott now i had to look up ridley scott just to make sure i knew what movies he had made and uh he alien blade runner so stuff like that so we're talking a sci-fi kind of thing that's where that's coming from but also gladiator and robin hood and so uh, napoleon even so he uh made a lot of uh action films and so we got here Ridley Scott, Wesley Snipe as a mystical warlord wearing armor and, and a sword, uh, mystical cyberpunk alley midday. So this is what we started off with right here. And we got, you know, three characters right here that kind of sort of look like Wesley Snipes. This guy really doesn't at all, but you can't see his head. And it's also kind of a pagoda J Japanese kind of thing. And this is in 6.0, which is where I'm staying from now on. And so then I thought, okay. What did I do here? Let me see. We, or do we got exactly the same thing here? Is this exactly the same prompt? Oh, I see the difference here on this prompt is up here. I put in colon, colon, four. So not only do you use colon, colon to say that your uh, 
setting different prompts apart, doing a multi-prompt, you can also weight it. So in this case here, I put the colon colon four onto the Wesley Snipes part of this here. Now I'm assuming that it's taking the entirety of this bit here, not just the word sword, but I'm not really sure about that. So either way, we got these images here, look sort of like Wesley Snipes, kind of more of a red orange coloration here. Did the exact same thing here without the colon colon four. We got four characters that kind of sort of look like Wesley Snipes, and they're also carrying big swords. This one, not so much, and that looks more like a stick than anything else. Um, so I don't know, did it pick up just Wesley Snipes or did it pick up or whatever? And now here's the thing that you have to also look at is, so the Wesley Snipes part, which is the predominant part of this is all the way down here. So we got two other prompts in front of it, cinematic still and Ridley Scott before we get to Wesley Snipes, even though Wesley Snipes is the most important character in all of these images so far. So we come down to the next one. And I started switching up the order. So I said, mystical urban cyberpunk alley first, midday cinematic film, put Wesley Snipes at the very end. So, you know, in some ways he kind of got pushed back a little bit. And these guys, especially this one and this one, don't really look like him. Uh, actually, really none of them do. Um, so did that make a difference by putting it later on in the prompt string? Did it make it less important? I think with the earlier versions, had I put... Uh, Wesley Snipes first, he definitely would have been in the front. If I put him at the end, he would have been at the end of it. In fact, what we can do is we can test that, and let's just, uh, we will redo this one here, and we'll take a look at it when we get to the end, and let's just make this here 5.2, and let's just see what that does uh, when we get down to the bottom of the list here. And whenever I'm recording and I run something like this, it starts that beeping sound, so I apologize for that. Um, so that's what we have here, and apparently it's done now. So we'll keep coming down. And so now, again, I changed up the order some more. Oh, we had, our, we had already looked at that one. And so now in this one here, um, yeah, so I changed the order again. Wesley Snipes is still clearly in the image. So all these here, no matter where we had Wesley Snipes, there appeared to be that character in here. So then I said, okay, well, we know we can put in the colon colon. And so I thought, okay, colon colon four for the first one, three, two, and one to give these the most weight. And you see the Wesley Snipes character is completely gone from here. And what it really seems to me is that uh, you know, you think a film by Ridley Scott, do all these represent a film by Ridley Scott? Maybe. I don't know his films well enough. Uh, cinematic still, definitely I could see that. Uh, Urban Cyberpunk Alley, yeah, okay, I get all that. Midday, no, one of them had midday. The other three definitely missed that. But again, it's the th fourth prompt here. So do all these represent films by Ridley Scott? Quite possibly. Um, I've seen a few of them, but, um, so then we came here and I did exactly the same thing, just same order, took out those prompt weights and we're back to Wesley Snipes again. So it seems like it's, if you put some sort of a character in there, in this case here, it's uh, clearly going off of that, the, uh, the person or the subject of the, because everything else here is really just describing the scene whereas this is the part here where is the subject of the scene. So we keep going along here, same thing, just kept uh, changing the order and kept getting Wesley Snipes. And then I came in here and I said, okay, well, instead of putting any weights in, let's just put in colon colon without any weights, but still clearly telling it that these are separate prompts. And that really changed it up quite a bit. So here's maybe a Wesley Snipes character, maybe here too. Uh, we do kind of have at least in two, two of these here, Cyberpunk Alley, Midday sort of in some of them. But the, the point of the matter of all this here is just by making changes like that, putting in the colon colon with or without a weight, uh, it... Um, it, it, it certainly is making a difference in these images. And then again, here I did the exact same thing, but I changed the order. So I changed the order first to uh, Wesley Snipes, but we still basically got similar images to up here where they didn't necessarily follow these, uh, these prompts. 
And it could be that like one, one, it might say, okay, well, if, in this picture, we're going to use Ridley Scott. In the next one, we're going to use cinematic still. In the next one, you know, Wesley Snipes' character, even though we don't have one in here. So um, that's the interesting part about this. Here, same thing. Again, I just mashed them all up. But in this case here, now we do have more of a Wesley Snipes' character again in this image. But again, it could just kind of be randomly grabbing them at that point. And then here is the one that we just did at the end which was to make this the 5.2 version. And again, we clearly have a character in here, and he clearly could be um, Wesley Snipes. I wouldn't exactly say he's in uh, a Warlord or wearing armor, uh, but he definitely has a sword in this image here. He's got a sword behind his back right here. I mean, these are all uh, four uh, very good images. And, and you saw that most of this I was doing in 6.0. I have found that because 6.0 is still an alpha, that the 5.2 versions a lot of times are much better, especially if you're trying to get your character to actually face the camera. I found that in 6.0, no matter what I put in for prompting, now I haven't tried the font weight, so maybe I can try that. Um, I was not able to get the subject to face the camera. So let me just stop here for one second. I will do that real quick and then we'll be done with this video okay so i got a little bit of results here so we got um four guys facing a camera but they're kind of too close up so then i put in here a medium shot and i gave that a weight of two and then i put in here wesley snipes as a warlord facing the camera which i had not had that above here i've, I've had subject facing the camera the font or a prompt weight of four on all of these and then on the last one here i changed the aspect ratio to two three from 16.9 and again I'm just kind of getting close-ups there and this guy he's yeah his face is facing the camera but his body certainly is not and um, so have to keep working on these prompts in 6.0 to get it to work in 5.2 all you say is uh, you know subject facing the camera and boom it's a perfect straight on shot so but again uh, 6.0 is in alpha and so hopefully that will be one of the many things that they uh, are working on to get get going. So that's it for today. If you got any questions, just let me know.